once the ride height and the camber are set, then the four-wheel alignment can be done. I've already set up the four corners of this string system. You see the, the cross members and the uprights, and then there's a flexible black string that runs down the length alongside the car and it forms a perfect square um, around the car. I wondered when I first got it how it would, you know, what reference point it would go off of, but what you use on both sides is the center, the center of the tires, and you measure out, and this one's just over 18 millimeters, and then you do the same thing on the driver's side, measure out, and up from the and this, well, I've already got this set where they're the same. And you do the same in the back. Measure out from the, the center hub here. And you keep working it until it's the same measurement on both sides. Back to back and front to front. And that'll form the perfect square all the way around. And then you're aligning it to that perfect square line. So you gotta take your time with that forming the line, the square, because that's if that's off, then everything's off. Then the next step, what you're doing is this kit came with a tool and it has you adjust it to the size of the rim, and then it has rulers that turn out and you put it on the rim and check the measurements on both sides. This one is 3.7 and the back is 3.9. So right now it's towing in a little bit. You know, so it's sitting solid against the rim in the same spot on both sides. The line crosses and you get a measurement on both sides. And then to adjust it, you're turning the toe adjuster here. And as you turn this side counterclockwise, the outside of the rim is going to increase. Normally it will turn by hand. If you want to make it turn even easier, you can put uh, ceramic tiles underneath the tires so that the tire itself will glide. So we'll just turn it a bit, like a quarter turn, and see what happens to the measurement there. So now the front is 3.5 millimeters or 35, 35, and the back is 41. So right now we've got too much tow. It's towing in. If the front is less, that's tow in, which you want. But right now it's it's a pretty strong toe, so I went too far. So as I turn that clockwise or counterclockwise, the forward part of the tire turns in. You can actually, as I turn it, I'm watching the tire move. So you just keep doing that back and forth until you get the right measurement. You do the back first, both sides. And the front is no more complicated. It's, uh, you gotta, first you gotta take this clip off the boot. It's just this, so that the boot can turn, it doesn't get all tangled up. Loosen the jam nut in there. And then, there's a little notch here that you can put a wrench on 
and this one you'll have to wrench. It's a uh, half inch works. And you're just turning, turning this. You put a little oil on the on the boot. It'll stop it from grouping up like that. But I'll take care of that later. And you do the same thing until the to the front of the tire is one sixteenth less than the back of the tire on both sides, and that'll give you a tow, a total tow of one eighth. You can go more aggressive than that. You can go a full eighth on both sides. Um, just remember, as you get more tow in. The tires won't wear as well, but we're more concerned about performance. And that's the basic. I know it's oversimplified it, but that's pretty much what alignment does. And if you're doing, you go to a shop, they're hooking up and using lasers to do the same thing. So they don't have to set up, you know, spend 45 minutes setting up the perfect square around it. But this is nice too, because it's portable. You can bring it to the track. You can change your settings you know, according to how you want it, you know, you're driving on the street, you get to the track and you want more aggressive profile, you can do, you know, you can adjust it there. So I'm going to go ahead and do all four tires. You can see, you know, how the tires are off right now. This uh, front driver is sticking in way too much passenger doesn't look bad the the back tire looks pretty close now and then the the back driver's off which you'll see in reference you know you got to look at that line there and see the difference you can't follow the body because it gets it looks different you got to trust the line